250,000 concurrent players, over 20 million total downloads, the Smash Brothers killer. Yo, I can't believe they added a Fortnite character. Ooh, what the hell happened here? Multiverse came out only a few months ago, but it's already being labeled as a dead game by many. Let me explain. When Multiverses was first released, people had high hopes for the game. It had a strong lineup of characters with a lot of fan favorite picks. It has enjoyable gameplay that rivals other well-established platform fighters. And most importantly, it's free to play, which makes it very accessible for both fighting game veterans and newcomers. But the developers have made some questionable decisions lately that's currently leading to the game's rapidly declining player base. First off, there's just straight up a lack of content for the game. The only thing you can do is fight your opponents online, go to the lab to practice cool combos that you know you'll never be able to do online. Or personally, my favorite, just stare at your icons. This one's my favorite. The game is also currently struggling to appeal to the competitive audience with a lack of a rank mode. This was teased a few months back, but so far we just haven't heard that many updates regarding it. Without this feature, a lot of competitive players are discouraged to keep playing. Like how else am I supposed to let people know that I have the worst Batman out there? On the opposite end, the game is having a hard time appealing to the casual audience with a lack of any single player content. Something like an arcade mode would be nice, which funny enough they also teased a while back but we still haven't heard anything about. I don't need a detailed in-depth story about the game. Just give me something at least man, like I'm starving out here. Maybe add a reward for each character after completing the arcade run? Like I don't know, another icon. The lack of communication has also been alarming. There doesn't really seem to be a roadmap of when new features or characters are planned to be released, which makes it really hard to be hyped for something if I don't even know when it's happening. For instance, a lot of recent character reveals just don't provide that much info, and a lot of the times they'll just hit you with that classic COMING SOON Gizmo from the Gremlins COMING SOON Rick from Rick and Morty COMING SOON MY CRIPPLING DEPRESSION Coming soon. Personally, I don't think it's too much to ask for a more definitive date of when we can expect new content. I know sometimes companies like to use coming soon if something isn't being released for months or even years later. But whenever multiverses drop a character reveal, the characters usually drop on a random day in the following week. So at that point, I don't get why we can't just be a little more specific if it's coming around the corner. Y'all like battle passes, right? Fortnite, battle pass. Warzone, battle pass. Taking a sh battle pass. Wait, what? Well, Multiverses has a battle pass too. The issue is not that it has a battle pass, but more so is what the battle pass actually offers. If you look at it, it's kind of just, um, <sighs> meh. Like a lot of these are just really basic emotes or cosmetic upgrades. Like look how boring this looks. Or look how boring this looks. Dude, look at this one. It doesn't even load. It has some cool skins at the end. I'll give it that. But there just really isn't that much meat in the middle that would encourage players to log in every day. Looking at their battle pass as a whole, it kind of just seems like an afterthought. So is Multiverses actually a dead game? Yes, but also no. If you want to look at the player base trend over the past few months, then yes, there's been a significant drop in interest for the game, which would leave you to believe the game is already dying. But if you actually look at the player count for the game, PC specifically, it still has a higher player count compared to most fighting games, so it really depends how you look at it. I love playing multiverses, and currently have about 50 hours into it, but I think the next few months is going to be a deciding factor for a lot of players, in terms of if they'll keep continue playing or not. Let's just hope the developers don't mess us up. I don't want a second Nick All-Star situation going on here. Like, come on, man. I'm not ready for my heart to be broken again.